Hello, so we'll talk about the biceps muscle. Bi means two. Um, so we have a long head and we have a short head. The long head of the biceps will originate from the supraglenoid tubercle. Then the short head of the biceps will originate from the coracoid process. Other muscles that are attached onto the coracoid process, we're going to see there's a coracobrachialis, which is also a muscle of the anterior arm to which the biceps belongs. Then we also see the insertion of a muscle known as the pectoralis minor, which is on the anterior pectoral region. So these two heads are going to unite and form this biceps muscle, uh, which is going to extend uh, to pass through the shoulder joint as well as the elbow. And it's going to insert by a tendon into what we call the tuberosity of the radius and also by a bicipital aponeurosis, which inserts into the skin that overlies your cubital fossa. This muscle belongs to the anterior compartment group of muscles of the arm. So its innervation is going to be by the musculocutaneous nerve, right? So these are going to be C5, C6 uh, nerve uh, fibers. Then in terms of function, it's going to flex both the shoulder as well as the elbow. However, it's going to be a weak flexor at the shoulder. Then it's going to be a strong flexor at the elbow. This muscle is going to be a supinator of the forearm. So it's going to be the chief supinator um, for um, the upper limb. Right. Blood supply will come from the brachial artery, which is the artery of the anterior compartment. Right.